everyone, my name is Lori and I'm from the Galloway branch of the Atlanta County Library System. And today we're going to work on a fun do-it-yourself craft for adults that allows you to use magazine pages instead of throwing them away and recycle them into a really fun bowl that's colorful and also can be used for all sorts of things. As a starting point, I would suggest that if you're using more than one magazine, you use the same brand of magazine perhaps different issues of the same magazine. That way you'll ensure that all of your pages are the same size and also the same thickness. I would suggest not simply tearing the pages out of your magazine. It works well to first remove the cover completely from your magazine. And you can do that by just folding it back and carefully pulling it. And of course, when I did this not on camera, it came apart much more neatly. So take your time, and I'm sure you'll have a great result. Once you've pulled the cover off, again, if you just start pulling the pages, you're likely to have a lot of pages that are frayed or still have some of the glue attached. So I suggest taking the pages apart in sections, perhaps doing the magazine approximately in half first. And depending on the type of glue used, this may take just a minute. While I'm pulling this, I'll tell you that I chose to work with Bliss Victoria magazine because it had lots of colorful pictures in it. It's really up to you. I always tell folks when they come to our in-person sessions, make the craft yours. You don't need to do exactly what I do. Do what you would enjoy. If you'd enjoy something black and white, you're welcome to use something with pages that just have text on it. Once you've pulled this apart into various sections, the pages could, should come apart very easily. And eventually you should be left with just one strip of glue that you can pull off easily. And now the fun part starts. It's a bit time consuming, but eventually we want to have a bunch of strips similar to this. Now the bowl that I created used approximately 120 strips of paper. So this is where it becomes very calming and therapeutic to just sit down, relax, and start folding. The first fold you'll make is to fold the paper in half. This gives you a guideline to use for the center of your page, and you'll turn the paper then and fold the outside to the fold in the middle. You'll do that once, a second time, and then a third time. And then simply turn the page around and fold it in the same way. Come into the middle, do it once. And you want to make your creases as tight as possible when you're doing this. I started out just creasing it with my fingers, but my fingers got a little tired around number 80. So I searched for the closest thing that had a flat edge, and this is what I came up with. It's actually a cover for, I'm not sure exactly what, but it's a cover for a battery compartment. So once you get to this point, you can slide it along. And this, again, is optional. You're welcome to just hand flatten the creases. But you'll flatten those out and then fold it one more time together. Flatten it the best you can using either your fingers or whatever implement. You could use a putty knife, a butter knife. Anything you have laying around the house would work well. Once you get it together, you're going to take just tiny pieces of tape Put them on either end to close. And you've made your first strip. The next thing that you're going to want to do is take the strips that you've made and put them together in groups of three to seven, depending on the size table you're working on and the amount of space you have to lay them out. It makes it much easier once we start coiling the strips if you have a few of them pre-attached together. I found the easiest way to do that is to take a strip, put it underneath of one of your strips, making sure that some of the sticky side is sticking out beyond the end of it and also on the side, and then make sure you match up the ends of your strip as closely as possible by coming in at an angle, then pressing it down and folding the tape over. 
Once you've done that, you can also put one on the other side to secure it just so that it doesn't come apart when you're making your bowl. So again, you would continue doing this for three to seven strips, whatever you're most comfortable with in the workspace that you have. And then you're ready to start coiling your bowl. One other tip though, before we move on to that, is I strongly recommend that you try to have the folded side on the same side as you put your strips together and then the open side on the other. So I have one that I have put together already with multiple strips. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the very end of your strip and we're going to fold it in as closely as we possibly can. And you're just going to roll it around itself, again keeping it as tight and flat as you can. You might need to continue to flatten your pages and make sure the creases are tight as you do this. And eventually you'll start to have paper coiled around in a circle that you can then turn to the side so that you can pull the paper as you're coiling around. And you just want to continue to coil this around until you get to the size disc you think will work well depending on the finished product you're hoping for with your bowl. And as I'm doing this, one other tip that I'd like to share. When you're folding your pages, if you find that you have a page that has mainly print on one side and beautiful pictures on the other. If you'd like your finished product to be a colorful bowl, remember to fold the print side in so that you have colorful pages showing on the outside of your strip. And we're almost to the point where we can stop this. I highly recommend trying to do this all at once when you're coiling. But we don't have time really to do that during this session, so we're going to stop after the end of this. But as you come to the end of each of your strips, your longer strips, you'll just need to use a little piece of tape to secure your next strip so that you can continue rolling. And once you've finished coiling this around to your desired size, you'll end up with a disc that looks like this. And I think these are pretty enough that you could actually make a small disc like this, a few of them, and use them as coasters. Or you could make a larger disc like this and use that as a placement. Once you've gotten to the point where your disc is the size that you think you'd like your finished product to be, it's approximately the same size once it's opened as the outside of your disc, you're going to very carefully start pulling the sides up. Now while you're taping your strips together, as you're wrapping it around your coil, you want to be careful not to tape it to the previous row because if you do this part will be really difficult. But as you're gently pulling this up you'll want to form the bottom of your bowl and just keep pulling it up until it's the height that you're hoping for. Do this as slowly and carefully as possible because if you pull too hard and you separate one piece a large section of it will uncoil. And just flatten the inside so that it forms a shape that you're satisfied with. Now you can push it together to make it perfectly rounded. And once your bowl is a shape that you are satisfied with, the first thing you're going to want to do is take some Mod Podge or some similar type of glue that will dry with a clear finish and we're going to apply that to the inside of the bowl using a foam brush. So you'll coat the inside of the bowl 
And then I suggest allowing it to sit overnight so that it hardens enough that you're able to turn the bowl upside down without it collapsing on itself the next day. And then you can paint the outside of it. For a really nice finished product, I'd recommend going through that process, first painting the inside, the next day painting the outside, a total of three times. If you don't have magazines lying around the house, or if you don't have a foam brush or any of the Mod Podge, we will have a limited number of grab-and-go kits available at the Galloway branch that you can pick up. And it will come with a sheet de detailing instructions with some extra tips on the back of how you can make it a perfect finished product. Thanks so much for joining us today, and I hope you enjoy your bowls.